we have no clue what we're into yeah. at the moment. We uh, we just know that there is heaps of campsites along a beach. There's good fishing and stuff like that. So we thought we'd come and suss it out. Oh, at the moment mm. we're in a swamp. Yeah. In this episode, we're exploring a remote beach stretch that was recommended to us by a friend of ours. This is Cape Palmerston, about 120 kilometers south of Mackay. Our mission is to set up a camp on the beach and then explore the area with our new tinny. There are plenty of campsites dotted all over the peninsula and we certainly hope we can find one that suits us. So we thought. Oh, okay, perfect from the campsite. <laughs> We've got a campsite. It's the high tide at the moment, so last check is about 2 pm. There's a tide going down. So, yeah, we're just at the peak of the tide, um, and we're going to go along this beach area here and then find a spot somewhere. A bit overcast today, good old rain in the back. Oh gosh, did we miss the rain? So there's the first casualty right there. He's got bumped. Yeah, so one of the, the guys on the motorbike just had a yarn with us and uh, he said that there's a couple of a couple of cars already bogged uh, on the beach, so it's no point even trying to attempt to go along here. Yeah, you can see, maybe, I don't know, you can see on the GoPro, but on the tip there, there's a couple of cars. So usually what happens, because this is so, um, it's pebbles here. It's not really uh, dense, compacted sand as yet. And so the water is still up high. So as soon as you get bogged, you're going to hit the, the, the water level and, and you just got to dig in even more. So I think it's pretty nonsense to drive on the beach um, at the moment, especially with a load or, or towing a load behind. We're just going to wait a couple of hours, have a coldie and uh, wait for the tide to recede a little bit more before we attempt this. But yeah, that, that's basically our plan. We've got to go along this beach line and then find a little nook on the side, park up there and uh, set up base camp, explore from there. First things first, we're going to let our tyres down while we've got time to wait here anyway. Driving on the beach, always recommendation is to put your tyres down. The pressure depends a bit on what the load you have got nothing on there you're probably good with 13 14 psi uh, we've got to run it a bit higher because we've got a heavy load so i'm going to go with around 80 18 psi in the back and probably around 15 in the front and i'll go with 20 in the camper trailer for now now the reason you want to uh, take your tire pressures down actually is to increase the footprint of the tire so the more traction you have the more power you get getting out of the bog so that's the main reason for letting your tires down in case you don't know um, as you can see the tire on the, on the bottom here has bulged out and that's basically the reason why we let the tires down now I've got these tiny little tire pressure monitors on here highly recommend those things they connect uh, my Wi-Fi or Bluetooth somehow to a little unit I got on my dash and that tells me my tyre pressure all the time. So if I were to have a puncture in this one, lose tyre pressure very fast, it will send a signal to the front dash, it will give me an alarm, and I can stop the car. All right, we're gonna attempt it now. We've waited for about, I think, what, half an hour or so? Mm. But the tide's gone down a fair bit. A little so. sprinkle of the rain. We're and back now. in the four wheel drive, and away we go. We get bogged, just gonna have to dig ourselves out. <laughs>
just a bit of salt water spraying the car is your only downside. Yeah. So we're going to drive along this beach here and see if we can find a nook, some nice spot. Oh. There's a yeah, lot of people fun. around here. Shasha had to concentrate to drive because we get very close to the water. Got bogged. Shasha get bogged and we get very angry now. Let's see what he's gonna do next. Oh! Ta-da! <laughs> After a few swear words and some digging, we were back on track again and explored the beach further north. This stunning beach is about 11 kilometers long and dotted with smaller and larger camp areas tucked away under the trees. We decided to have a look all the way to the tip of the cape and see what's still available. The beach was easy to drive on at low tide and the tracks are also not too bad. So far, no light. Every little sight is taken today. <laughs> it is a chock a block. Uh. Uh. It's always the thing when you go on public holidays. If you can't find a spot now, we'll have to turn around and find somewhere else. Drive until we find a spot. Oh dear. Don't forget to subscribe. Yeah, do us a five do it. <laughs> Give us a link, like, thumbs up, you know, give us some cheers. So believe it or not, we did find. Oh, forgot about Jenny. <laughs> So believe it or not, we did find a little nook just on the way out. It's not much, but hey, it's got a bit of a view, check it out. At the moment, we just gotta take what we can get. So I'm gonna try to get the camper trailer in this little place. <laughs> <laughs> So thanks to Jenny having to go for a wee, we did find this little spot that ended up being pretty awesome and well protected from the winds. Now due to the wet season, we have been living in an apartment for the last couple of months, so I gotta say, it was a bit hard to figure out how to set up the camper trailer again. Ta-da, how quick was that? Yeah, not really. Setting up a camper trailer is definitely a perishable skill. Because we just spent the last hour setting this thing up. Uh, I'm so exhausted. We tried to doing this setup. Uh, help. Give me that. <laughs> so Jen, what do you think of this campsite? Actually not too bad in the last minute that we found it. Rather than camp up on the hill. Yeah, there were a couple of spots I remember we see up on the hill, but they were too windy. Oh, it was too exposed. And especially in a camper trailer, the tropical roof, if that starts flapping, you ain't sleeping. Perfect. All night. We have experience on Mount Isa, the way we drive to Cairns, I think, a couple of months ago, last year. Hmm. Horrible. Yeah, let's relax a little bit and enjoy the view, eh? Yeah. Hi guys, let's go for walk for the sunset farm. As you can see guys, we're now at low tide and the tides here are about, I think, four or five metres if I'm not mistaken. And because this is so flat, you can see how far it goes out. 
It'll be nice when uh, the tide will be up again tomorrow, but at the moment, yeah, the water is way over there. And our campsite, way over there. <laughs> It was finally time to take that new little tinny out for a cruise. If you're interested in how I modified it and where the small trailer magically appeared from, check out this video here. Right guys, let's go do some fishing and exploring around the mangrove area. Now we all know I'm an absolute shit fisherman, so I don't expect much, but if we do catch a feed tonight, I will show you guys how I'll make it and prepare it because it's going to be one of the first ones, eh? Hey? Oh, no, I actually caught some good fish before. Thanks, Shen. One of the most important things to have on a fishing trip not the beer, the stubby cooler. <laughs> The bait handles super nice and I've got to tell you after modifying a few boats around or a few tinnies I should say um, I come to what I consider one of the best uh, configurations that I've had on a tinny. That little platform on the front there not only acts as a casting deck if I wanted to I can tie down the Nesky to get a bit more levelness on the boat a bit more weight distribution if uh, that sort of describes it correctly uh, and as you can see, Jenny can put her feet up there, and that was always a big, um, a big thing. The last tinny we had had a full deck out in the front, which was good for casting and things like that. But Jenny always had a problem because she wants to face the ocean, uh, face onwards, uh, that she couldn't put her feet anywhere. So, show you this with with having that little bit of uh, space where she can put her feet, but we can also put. Um, we can store stuff. Superb, guys. Man, this is a superb. Now, the wood that I use for it is uh, Papua New Guinea rosewood, which is a super light wood and very nice feel, very nice smell of rosewood, obviously. So, uh, but it doesn't add a lot of weight, and that's why I decided to do rosewood rather than plywood. Plywood tends to be super heavy, and then you've got carpet on top of it, and you haven't got a lot of breathing space underneath it, so I decided to go with this decking style sort of look just to give it a bit more nice. you know, breathability and I can clean it out very nicely, I can get anywhere. Can stand up as well. There you go, see? So Jenny's standing up. Now later on I'll probably put a hatch down here because I raised this up a fair bit. I knew that I wanted that storage underneath there just for some odds, odds and ends. I like to keep it very tidy, especially in a small boat. Um, to have everything organized is just a must man on these small boats. All right, now let's go and explore this area. I have no idea where we're going. We're just going to pot around a little bit, try to find some ground, uh, and then uh, throwing a couple of rods. A couple of rods? Jen? Yeah. We forgot a rod. Oh, yeah. No good going fishing without rods, is it? We've got one. All right. Absolutely nowhere. Uh, well, I have no idea where to go fishing here, so we're just gonna do something. Just gonna drop a line here and see what happens. I do have a bit of reef on the sound there, so maybe we'll get some good fish. <laughs> good, I don't know. good luck for you, Jaja. Some fish for me. For us. 
What you got, Sasha? I want something. And? Oh, maybe not. Small one. You lose it. Ah! Oh. oh, a little cod. Baby cod. <laughs> Oh. oh no, what happened to you? Oi! No, 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 no! Don't hook it too long! Hey, we're on to something! Is the craft on? Oh, it's not the turtle? It is a fish! Aha! Uh -huh. What fish? Catfish! <laughs> That's a catfish, I'll give up fishing altogether. Oh, here we go, what's that? Nice, that's an eating fish right here. I have no idea what it is yet, but I'll find out. Oh, brim, man. Yeah, see this one. Boss, calm down. Got nibbles again. Hmm. Oh, another one! Here we go, so it's fun! This one is... This one? <laughs> Same one, a bit too small, this one. Okay. Oh, we're on to something slightly bigger! Slightly bigger! Hopefully, anyway. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is a good spot. Look at that! It's a sheer rod! Oh, you just bought a new rod, oh do you? Oh my god, it's a massive cod! Curly up! Before the shark get it. Look at Please. The cod. Oh my god! I gotta get the gap for that one. Get back now, I'm so hungry. so much stuff and you pack in a rush it ends up being messy it is pretty windy this morning check it out so yesterday the wind app showed us almost no wind at all and then we wake up to a bit of a breeze so the plan for the day was actually to put the tin in now and then cruise around that island where we went yesterday already and uh and go attack that reef a little bit more that we've uh, been so successful with. But the wind is definitely going to cancel that. So there is a creek around here on the other side of the peninsula and that's what we've tried to do. So we'll drive around with the tinny um, and then launch the boat on the other side uh, where the wind should be blowing offshore. And then there's a couple of um, yeah, there's a couple of creeks there and we'll go and try and do some crabbing because I bought two crab nets. So uh, hopefully we'll get some mud crabs. 
I need your help, Shasha. What do you need? Put the bottom on here. I try a couple of minutes, but couldn't make it. There's no button. Yeah, there's a button. See? Thank you. That's helped a lot. This is my new outfit. Finally, I got the color that I want. <laughs> Brown one. You very concentrated on driving? I have to. I got the rods in the front, trailer in the back. Yeah. And very choppy today, so we changed the other side to go for the boarding. a benefit of those uh, foldable trailers. You can just pack your boat up, get everything ready, uh, tow it and just take it to the site where you want to go. Although it's a bit slower because there's no suspension on the trailer, it is still a lot quicker than if I'd had to take the tinny up onto the roof, take the outboard off, mount the outboard, get all the fishing gear off. So that way you can just tow it to the boat ram or wherever you want to put it in. The tide goes out, you can tow it down to the low tide line. So there's a lot of benefits of having those little trailers. The one that we had before was a steel one and it was just super heavy and very awkward to store. It didn't fold up as nice as the old Mac one. The only downside, like I said, has no suspension. Supports in WA, we don't have those pots, we just got just very basic pots that pop up. But these ones, they got openings on the side so the crabs can swim in, like we can't get back out, which is pretty cool. That means we can uh, leave them in for a bit longer, I guess. And we've got a very uh, interesting bait today as well lamb sausages. <laughs> We could not buy any lamb because... We're trying, we're trying to go to the shops yes. on the last day and, and buy some lamb chops and everything was closed because of the long holiday. So. Happy holiday. It is what it is, I suppose. We'll see if uh, they yeah. like a bit of lamb sausage. I don't mind it actually.
Gut, den ist kein Siegefisch. That's a super weird uh, footprint. Yeah. And then it stops. Oh, how's that possible? Hang on. Look. Stop off. Stop. <laughs> what is that? Scary me. Is it alien? find out if we have mud crab tonight or not. We're about to check the pods. That are, they've been in now for what, two hours? Yeah. About two, yeah. two, two and a half hours. Yeah. <laughs> so let's hope we'll get something. Because we weren't lucky fishing at all. Oh, no, it did no. not! <laughs> Alright, pot number two. Catching fish, catching much crab today. Don't forget to give us thumb up, subscribe and comment. <laughs> After exploring the creek, Jenny headed back to camp and I went for one more try at fishing for sunset. Last fish for the day. Hopefully it's something decent. And hopefully it doesn't come off. Oh yeah, here we go. Here's the gash. That's what we want. Yes! <laughs> here we go, that's the size. Woohoo! Check it out! Paid off to come out one more time. That's a nice sized fish. Well, there we go. I thought I'd give it one last uh, try with the fishing. I went out on my own, left Jenny in the camp. Uh, she didn't want to come out anymore. And there we go. That's what we produced. Another one of those uh, blue, blue spotted emperors, I think they're called. Um, not bad eating that one, so that's going to be our feed for tonight, I reckon. And that's us uh, for this episode. Tomorrow we'll be packing up. I hope you enjoyed it as always. You know, stay tuned, don't forget, subscribe, hit the like button, and do drop us a comment if you want to know anything. We're happy to answer any of your questions, and we always reply. So, I'm stoked with this fish. Super good, man. I'm not as bad as I thought I was, at least not for today. That will give us two good slabs of meat. Um, sun is about to go down. It is super calm, quite the opposite of what it was this morning. So, yeah, I'll be heading home now and bring Jenny the good news. Thanks for watching again, everyone. Have a good one. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time somewhere off the beaten track, somewhere out in the bush, somewhere out in the sticks. <laughs> Have a good one. Look at this, lucky me, I've got a pickup. 
<laughs> there goes my clutch. Just turn around here. So here's another super benefit of that trailer. Watch this. I can just turn it. Oh! Check this out. That wasn't meant to happen. All right, we never show you guys anything about the evenings or what's happening in the camp. So we thought we'd change that. We've got a new light that actually bright. makes this. Yeah, it's pretty bright, but it makes it possible. So, big fish we caught. We didn't cook it up tonight. We cooked a smaller one from yesterday. yesterday. So let's just have a look what Jenny's uh, cooked up here. Yeah, I smell burn a little bit, but so Ooh. far it looks good. Just at the back burn a little bit, should be good. Probably from the soy sauce. I add some uh, garlic, lime, and a little bit of soy sauce, a little bit of oil, and pepper. Surf and turf today. There we go. Jenny. <laughs> Jenny's made the fish, and I'll make the turf. I mean, I'll make the steak. <laughs> the turf. You're funny.